Hey everybody, it's uh, Undead Viking. I am here with my daughter, Rylan. Say hello. <laughs> okay, Rylan, thank Hi. Uh, Rylan is my five-year-old daughter who plays a lot of uh, board games with me, and, and we, we really enjoy playing them. You may have seen her uh, list of... <laughs> you may have seen her, her list of her top five games that we did about a month or so ago, and that was a lot of fun. Um, we, uh, we've played a recent game a lot of lately, a game that she really enjoys. And what game is it, Rylan? Riff Raff. Riff Raff. It's a dexterity game about, um, well, I mean, it's just a dexterity game. It's, 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 in, the, it's in the genre of, of stacking blocks and making sure they don't fall off the ship, right? And yeah. we, we've been playing it, and uh, Mom plays with us too, right? Yeah. Is your brother old enough to play it? No. No, because your brother is how old? Yakety smackety. How old is your brother? 17 months old. 17 months old. Very good. I thought you'd just say one year old. Very good. I'm very impressed with you. Uh, but, um, so this is a game we play, and um, this is a game that... Um, Obviously, if I'm playing with my daughter, I'm enjoying it, so it's no big surprise. This is a game that's kind of tough to get a hold of because um, it is from uh, Zock Zoom Spielen, which is a uh, uh, board game publisher in Germany, um, as you can probably guess from the name. Um, and it isn't uh, readily made. It isn't, it isn't really distributed here in the United States, though I picked my copy up through Game Surplus, and uh, you can pick up your copy through them. Probably if you, you had them order one directly. I know you can go to Amazon D to get one. Or somebody said Time Well Spent had them. And I think Boards and Bits will order it for you as well. So that's just some... If you decide you'd like want to pick this game up, uh, that definitely is an option for you. Um, but Rylan and I are going to play a game, or a version of the game that we play. And uh, we're going to kind of go over the rules. And then we're going to tell you exactly uh, what we think and what's awesome about the game. Ready? You want to play? Are you excited? What are you, what are you doing with your chair? I want to scoot up a bit. Okay. She wants to scoot up a little bit. All right. So, uh, yeah. Here, here's how to play Riff Raff. High five. Okay. Uh, we have put together the Riff Raff uh, uh, ship. You notice that it wobbles to and fro like that. Rylan and I have our collection of items that we have to place on the ship. What about your boat? I have my boat right here. But, but you didn't pick it up then. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but I have my boat. Don't worry, I'm not cheating. Not like you. Um, normally, how the game is played is that each person gets a, a set of these cards. And on the other side of the card is a number. Uh, and the numbers correspond with the different locations on the board, on the boat. You can see like the top mast here is a 10 and a 9, and then 8 and 7 here, 6 and 5, and a 1, 2, 3, 4 on the actual ship on the bottom. And what happens is, is that what each person is supposed to do is they look through their deck, they pick a card, and then everybody flips it over at the same time. And whoever picks the highest number gets to go first, but they have to place the item that they're going to be placing on that section of uh, the, the boat. And the, and the rules are that when you place an item, you, after you picked up your what you're going to place, you can't, you can move these if, and you can move anything with this, the, whatever piece that you're going to place onto the, on the boat, but you can't, uh, you can't touch it with your hand to steady it or anything like that, much like you probably expect with any kind of a dexterity game. Um, as you can see, it's very wobbly and everything like that. You might be wondering why it is, is because underneath here, there's actually a big steel ball, like a big heavy weight. And that's where, where the, the counterbalance and the weight comes from. I'm going to try to center that again. So uh, there's a little bit of strategy, I suppose, with, with picking the cards and, and, and trying to make sure that you have the right card. Because after you've used the card, you, 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 it's done. Also, you have the option of, if you want, um, it, you can you can have the option of, I'm going to place two pieces if, you, if you're really gutsy, but then you have to place two. Mm -hmm. But we usually, but Rylan and I came up with a version of the game that we're going to play that works really well because instead of picking uh, cards and trying to trying to decide how it's going to work, what we do is we take all the cards and we shuffle them up, and then what we do is we turn a card over, and whatever card is the number that you get when we turn the card over. Um, lucky or not, that is the spot where you have to place your item, and we found that. Um, well, one, I mean, just because, you know, I mean, not that Rylan doesn't understand numbers or anything like that. We find this is actually a lot more amusing. Hey! What? I 
do understand numbers. I know you understand numbers. You understand which numbers are higher, but we found this is a lot more fun and kind of uh, hilarious. But you said I don't understand numbers. No, I said you do understand numbers, but we just play it like this. But I'm going to go first, okay? All right. So here we got my deck of cards. I'm going to put them down. You can't really see them. And I'm going to turn this one over. And I drew a 10. So I'm going to go first, okay, Rylan? Yep. All right. So I have to place one all the way up here on the 10. I'm going to see if I can place this green guy. And so, as with any balancing game, ta-da! I placed the green one. And if you put it on the right side, it, it balances a little bit. Yeah, because it, because it, it, it the weight, different weights, all right? Yeah. Okay, what's your number? Your number is a five, Rylan. There, there's your five right there. Careful. Don't, don't uh, drop anything. She's going to put a rat. We'll see how well this works. A rat? Well, that's what that is. It's a rat or a mouse or something. Careful, careful, careful. Would be fun if I turn it around. Well, if you, no, you got to touch it with the rat. and You can't touch it with your, you can't move it with your fingers, goofball. <gasps> oh, okay. She did really good. So. Okay, let's here put that well, back in. You shouldn't knock the table, you goofball. I'm sorry, it wasn't me. It was my stupid knee. Oh, your silly knee. Okay, well let's let's just give you a do over here. I'll put those back. Since since you knocked them by accident with your knee, we'll we'll, we'll give you another shot. Give me my stupid knee. Oh, your stupid knee. Okay, here's my my card. My cards are two. Okay, I got a lucky one. I got to place one on the two, which is right there. I'm gonna use my little tiny barrel. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's the tiniest. Oh. Oh. Quit, knock, quit knocking the table. You're going to make me lose the game. Okay, here's your number, Rylan. Oh, a 10 all the way up in the top. This is going to be tough. Which one are you going to use? The little barrel? All right. Do you need me to, like, pick you up and hold you over? Or what are you going to do? Careful. Careful. Oh. Now technically what you're supposed to be able to do is if you can catch the stuff before it falls off the falls off the boat. Or if it falls. Yeah. But if you can catch it when it falls, then you then you get to like put away what are you doing? You don't get to go again. No, I'm just gonna put it back. Oh, okay. Well so now okay, I'll draw one now. So seven. But you fell on the floor. Well then get him. Go ahead and get him. Alright, this is gonna be tough round. I gotta do a seven. And you keep wobbling the table, so you're making it even more tough for me. Sorry. Okay, let's see here. But I can't find that that red one. Ah! It wasn't me! I know! Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, who knows. Well, you can kind of get the, the gist of how to play the game. You have, you even have like this cool, like kind of like a, a dangling monkey guy that you can, that you can even try to balance like that on there. Or um, why don't you just go ahead and put like your plank down. Pick one and put a plank down somewhere around. But I don't have to pick. This no, just pick. Put, put wherever you want. Wherever you want. We're just we're just playing for fun now. Don't knock off my monkey there that I've got dangling though. Careful! Whoa! Rylan <sighs> believes in the really fast drop method. Let's see if I can. Okay, okay you go. You go. <laughs> Which one? Which one? I don't know. Pick one. I can't help it. I need to use the bathroom. <laughs> All right, we're going to pause because I think my, my daughter needs to take a restroom break. But we'll be right back, and we'll tell you exactly why we uh, like Riff Raff so much. All right, so, uh, stop it. <laughs> That was that was riff raff and and kind of how you play. Well, I told you the official rules, but like I said, we kind of play with our own little uh, fun rules. Um, I, I do like the game, and it's very highly competitive, and it's it's definitely a, a, a raucous time, if you will, especially with adults. But like I said, uh, Ryan and I have a lot of fun just goofing around and playing the game, and, and my wife Becca joins in as well, and we have a blast. Um, the one thing about the game that I don't like, as far as the official rules go. Um, if you can catch the pieces when they fall, like, they don't count against you, meaning, like, those pieces don't go into your own personal stack. A lot of, like, a dexterity games where you set up things like this and they fall off, what happens is, like, if you don't, if they fall off, you add them to your own pile and then you have more stuff to get rid of. Like, games like Hamster Roll, if you will, same deal. And, um... Or, or like, like, 
Or like that hamster wheel thing. Yeah, that's what I just said. Hamster roll. The hamster wheel game. Oh. Which is another game Rowan really enjoys. And I enjoy it too for that. No, I never played that. I just I just watched it. Yeah, them. you did. You played it. You, you I remember? played it just a little bit, then then just quit. Well, yeah, because the pieces kept falling off, and you yeah. said it wasn't, it wasn't fair. But anyway, she likes this one more than hamster roll, I guess, right? Yeah, because it's just a boat. It's just a boat instead of a wheel? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> now, hold on. So, what my problem with the official rules are is if you catch the pieces, uh, <laughs> then you, you they don't count against you. So, what happens is, is that, like, I'm just going to kind of place these. So, what happens is, is that somebody will play their turn and they'll kind of game the game they'll place that there and they know full well the pieces are going to fall and then they catch them like that and so when they can catch them then they just say oh okay there's my turn and they put the pieces away so unfortunately like that's one part of the official rules i don't really enjoy Ronald, what do you like about the game can i first think yeah go ahead and think No pressure. Take your time. I can't really think. You can't really think? No, oh. I can't really, I'm not really sure what. Well, what do you like about it? I mean, do you like putting the pieces on there? Do you like it when they fall off? I mean, do you like it when they, uh, do you like it because it's funny when, they, when, when, when dad makes a mistake and a bunch of stuff falls off the ship? What do you like, what do you like about putting the pieces on there? What's your favorite piece to put on? Um, the rats and the barrels. The, why? Because they're super tiny and they're easy. Yeah. What about what about the uh, the little the little monkey shine guy, like the the sailor that's like looks a lot like uh, a monkey, and you can you can kind of try to place them, you know. Well, they're easier if you if you place them like this because they can lie down. But you can you can you like those guys? Wait, uh, not really, because they're part of the big ones. They're part of the big ones. What don't you like about the game? Um, that the pieces fall off and you get more pieces and what was that next thing you said? It's tough to catch them when they fall off. Yeah, it's really tough. Plus, that, plus that was something that was ugly. That was what? Ugly. Ugly. It's and like you know. So when Rylan and I play, we just play that if it falls off, too bad, so sad. You just add that to your pile, just to kind of even things out because it you know obviously if we try to catch the things. They, uh, you know, it's easier to for adults that portion of the game. I mean, overall, I mean, it, it, as far as you like your favorite games, what do you think of this one? A big thumbs up. I mean, do you like it more than Dungeon? No, you like Dungeon more. Do you like it more than Igloo Pop? You like it more than Igloo Pop? Okay. Do you like it more than uh, Der Schwarze Pirate? The 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 the. The pirate game with the with the with the the, the ships that you blow across the table. Not really, because because I haven't enough time with the blower. So you okay? So you like this game more than the Black Pirate? Yes. All right. Well, it is. It's an awesome game. It might be a little tougher to track down and get a hold of, but if you're a fan of dexterity games or if you have a little girl that uh, would dig uh, a board game in your collection, I highly suggest uh, finding this one and picking it up. Do you have anything left you want to say at all? Nothing? Toilet. <laughs> the toilet. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you have any questions, please uh, let me or Rylan know what you need to know, and, and we'll answer those as best as we can. All right. Thank you very much, kiddo. I love you. Mm. Sorry, I said toilet. Yeah, she was really sorry. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Now can we, I really wanted to play Dungeons and Dragons.